guys, it's Joey. So this is the first day of the Celtic calendar month of Rowan or Louis. So I am bringing you my new altar setup, which I'm excited to show you. So we didn't do silver birch just particularly because the main part of it was actually the healing circle. So it seemed a bit counterintuitive to do it, record it again when that was the main part of the silver birch. So this one is for Louis or Rowan. So here's the ogre, or the ogre card I should say. Now I just want to show you this amazing scarf slash altar cloth which I found. Look how perfectly the trees match up visually. I just thought that was amazing. I really, I saw this and I squealed. I was so happy. It was an inexpensive scarf and it got this beautiful deep red for the rowan, for rowan berries. And the trees are white and black with sort of a, a birdies, flying birdies in black and white as well. And we're going to say those are crows because I can. <laughs> but they're still quite bare. They still talk about the fact that we're still in winter. Uh, it's the 21st of January and you know everything's still bare but rowan comes in, it brings in this punchy energy. Rowan is often used for protection and red and black and they also are really really strong colours within the Morrigan and within protection magic as well of course so it all just came together with this altar cloth so beautifully I was so pleased I was like oh it's just it's so good it's so good and I like it a lot and then of course you know crows crow crow and then the balance of things black and white day and night yin and yang has a nice balance of masculine and femininity within it. It's a powerful one, it's a punchy one. So let's zoom out a little bit so you can see. There you go. Still erring on the side of sparsity for the very reason of the time of the year. It is quite sparse out there. But we will start in the middle and move out. So the oil burner slash statue is back uh, with the crow feathers are still there. I love them so they're staying there. It just gives it an extra Morrigan crow feel so they're staying there with the three mid and mother crone mini orbs reflecting, of course, the maiden and mother crone around the outside. Down the bottom now for three stones in there are actually Labrador right now because they more reflect who I am. A little toadstool. And the little spirit quartz is still there. So around here in a circle is some shell jasper. It works really well as a balancing crystal with the black and white. It's my go-to helping with depression crystal um, because it ha it really sort of puts things in perspective. It shows light in the dark and dark in the light and really helps you to sort of balance out all those things. It has a slightly courageous edge and it's, it's beautiful for that and given that uh, January is considered the worst month of the year for depression given the uh, long nights and depressing weather and all the rest of it. it it seemed to work well and it fit well within the black, white and then red elements of the rest of the Rowan Louis altar and then I think the rest is more or, less, more or less as usual we have the earth corner there, the Morrigan statue and her little offering bowl the Morrigan figurine and spirit candle and spirit star hiding down there. There he is. The Morrigan offering bowl with some beautiful bits and pieces with the new inclusion of a little bit of the chalice well water that my friend sent me for you. Then the air corner, the fire corner, and the water corner. And then we have this tends to be the goddess side. Um, so we always have the amethyst point for the masculine within the feminine and the bowl on the god side for feminine within the masculine and the little bowl contains lots of little rowan berries and at the base of the two big black beautiful uh, <laughs> pillar candles I guess large spark candles, pillar candles um, which are there by the way for the, the protection side of things rowan is a hugely protective both wood, berry and ogham. So the black are these big strong pillars 
of strength. And the other thing is, if we zoom out, they really do look like a doorway. There's something doorway, stepping through about Rowan. It's known as the witch's tree, so maybe it's to do with that, with that self-reflective side and uh, Mercury in retrograde, of course, so self-reflection becomes key. And then around the base, we just have a mixture of herbs and salt for a red, white and black feel that goes throughout. So it's quite morrigany. It's very morrigany, in fact. I've got two very morrigany altars right now. <laughs> but I, I'm okay with that. I kind of love that. And of course, the soapstone triquetta with the teeny tiny, very, very pure quartz, double terminated. The lady in the holistic shop gave me for my birthday. And then the spell cauldron, power cauldron, which is a mixture of quartz and labradorite, which Sharon sent. So yeah, there we go. We are all rowan. We are all umphy and it's quite masculine but quite feminine. It's quite warrior-esque. It's quite protective. It's quite witchy. I'm feeling it. I love it. I love it. I love it. I love it. So that's it for this video. Many blessings.